Welcome to Creative Biolabs. In response to the COVID-19 pandemic, Creative Biolabs has developed related proteins, antibodies, nucleic acid extraction kit, and other products to facilitate global researchers with the development of effective drugs and vaccines against COVID-19. A new type of pneumonia outbreak began in Wuhan at the end of 2019 and then spread across China. In January 2020, the virus that caused this new pneumonia was temporarily named 2019-NCOV, which means 2019 Novel Coronavirus, by the WHO. At the end of January, WHO announced this novel coronavirus a pandemic and a public health emergency of international concern. On February 11th, the virus was officially named SARS-CoV-2 by ICTV, and the disease resulting from it was called COVID-19. To this day, the virus has spread to more than 200 countries. After being infected with SARS-CoV-2, the patients usually show some typical clinical symptoms, such as fever, and some may also suffer from mild diarrhea, fatigue, and breathlessness. This virus can spread from person to person, and the transmission is mainly through respiratory droplets. The SARS-CoV-2 virus is a novel coronavirus. It's a general term for a class of RNA viruses. Belong to the order Nidovirales, family Coronaviridae. Coronaviruses can be divided into two subfamilies, Coronaviridae and Toroviridae. The former can be divided into four genera, Alpha, Beta, Gamma, and Delta. The beta coronavirus can be divided into four independent subgroups, A, B, C, and D. Alpha coronavirus usually infects mammals, while beta coronavirus can infect both birds and mammals. There are already six kinds of coronaviruses that can infect human beings. They are HCoV-229E, HCoV-NL63, HCoV-OC43, HCoV HKU1, SARS CoV, and MERS CoV. Now, SARS CoV 2 has been added to the list. Coronavirus has a characteristic crown like appearance when viewed under an electron microscope, hence the name. The main structure of SARS CoV 2 is shown in the figure. The S protein protrudes from the viral envelope and presents the coronal appearance of coronavirus. Receptor binding domain can mediate the binding and fusion of the virus with the host cell membrane so that the virus can enter the cells. M protein is the most abundant virion membrane protein, responsible for the transmembrane transport of nutrients, the release of new virus budding, and the formation of viral outer envelope. The hemagglutinin portion of the HE glycoprotein binds to the neuron mimic acid on the surface of the host cell. This may facilitate initial absorption of the virus to the cell membrane. M protein is involved in the formation of a nucleocapsid in the RNA genome and may also participate in regulating viral RNA synthesis and interacting with the M protein during viral budding. E protein is the smallest and the most mysterious of the main structure proteins. It is expressed in large amounts in affected cells but only a small part is integrated into the envelope of the virion. When the S protein of SARS-CoV-2 binds to the host cell's receptor, or ACE2, the virus enters the cell, and then the envelope is peeled off, which lets genomic RNA be present in the cytoplasm. The ORIF1A and ORIF1B RNAs are made by genomic RNA and then are translated into PP1A and PP1AB proteins respectively. Afterwards, they are cleaved by proteinase to form non-structural proteins. Spike proteins, envelope proteins, and membrane proteins enter the endoplasmic reticulum, and a nucleocapsid protein combines with the plus-chain genomic RNA to form a nucleoprotein complex. They fuse into complete virus particles in the endoplasmic reticulum Golgi chamber. Viral particles are excreted through the Golgi apparatus and vesicles to the extracellular area. At present, 
there's no specific treatment for SARS-CoV-2. So the development of new drug against the virus is extremely important. There are currently several feasible strategies. The first is the detection and screening of the existing broad-spectrum antiviral drugs. This means to test and screen the approved drugs for the treatment of different viral infections and find the drugs that can inhibit the SARS-CoV-2 life cycle as much as possible. However, the result may not treat SARS-CoV-2 in a targeted manner and have certain side effects. The second is to use existing molecular libraries and databases to screen molecules that may have a therapeutic effect on coronavirus. This strategy enables high throughput screening in a short period of time and expands the scope of drug research. However, many drugs may exhibit good antivirus activity in vitro but have no value in human bodies. Besides, the dose as well as the side effects remains unknown. The third is to develop specific drugs based on the genomic information and pathological characteristics of SARS-CoV-2. The development of specific drugs can be divided into two major categories. One is targeting the host, and the other is targeting SARS-CoV-2. The specific drugs targeting the host can be divided into the following three categories. Enhance immune response, such as the release of interferon. Block the signaling pathways required for virus replication. Development of drugs targeting viral and cell surface receptor proteins, or ACE2. Blocking the binding of S protein receptor binding domain to ACE2 can prevent infection. The possible treatments are as follows. The first one uses the RBD of S protein from SARS-CoV or SARS-CoV-2 directly, thereby binding ACE2 and occupying available sites. The second is to directly use the antibody or single-chain antibody fragment that can bind to ACE2 to block the entry of the virus. The third is to use RBD protein fusion FC fragment to prevent infection. Special drugs targeting SARS-CoV-2 can be divided into several categories according to specific action pathways. Target the general material of viruses and prevent the synthesis of viral RNA. Target the key enzymes of the virus to further inhibit virus replication. Target the structure protein of virus, block the binding of virus and human cell receptor, or inhibit the self-assembly process. In general, the treatment of SARS-CoV-2 is mainly through the suppression of a certain stage of its life cycle. The following figure shows some strategies. Monoclonal antibodies restoration plasma for ACE2 can effectively prevent viruses from entering the host. Camostamacilid prevents SARS-CoV-2 from entering the cells by acting on Tempras-2. Lopinavirol retonavirol inhibit proteinase activities of SARS-CoV-2. Ribavirol may inhibit mRNA capping and induce mutations in RNA-dependent viral replication. RNA synthesis inhibitors inhibit SARS-CoV-2 RNA synthesis and replication. Neuraminidase inhibitors interfere with the release of progeny virus from infected host cells. Creative Biolabs provides comprehensive SARS-CoV-2 services. For example, drug discovery services mainly include antiviral drug discovery, vaccine discovery, and preclinical research. In vitro diagnostic development mainly covers antibody and immunoassay development services, molecular diagnostic assay development services, and SARS-CoV-2 related detection kits. Other products are also available in Creative Biolabs, including RNA extraction kits, ACE2 related products, and a wide range of coronavirus related products covering SARS-CoV-2, MERS-CoV, SARS-CoV, etc. Creative Biolabs conducted extensive and in-depth research on the MERS epidemic in 2012, accumulated a lot of experience for the study of SARS-CoV-2. More information about Creative Biolabs can be reached by visiting www.creative-biolabs.com or by sending an email to info at creative-biolabs.com. Located 45-1 Ramsey Road of Shirley, New York, Creative Biolabs is always ready to welcome you.